The four great champions have arrived at the Colosseum, one of the few buildings left standing after the Great War of 2151, when warlords took up arms against each other in a violent power struggle. Whole cities were reduced to rubble. After the dust settled, one warlord rose up to control the people with his evil powers. He was called Jade, the Fighting King. Everything about the Fighting King is shrouded in mystery. No one knows who he is. Well, he's Jade, you just said, or where he came from. Only that he rules the land with an iron fist. His headquarters is in a secret room at the top of the Great Tower, which is guarded by more than six enemies with psychotic fighting skills. Many great warriors have entered the tower to overthrow the Fighting King, but none have come back. Finally, four brave champions have traveled from distant lands. Each is a powerful warrior with the strength and determination and the reign of terror and restore peace to the land. There's just one little problem. Only one warrior can enter the tower at a time. Our champions have decided to hold a series of matches among themselves to see who is the strongest. The winner will have the honor of challenging the fighting king himself. This is Tough Enough from Jailco. Daleco. Mailco. Failco. Released in 1993, also known as Dead Dance in Japan. That's a much cooler game than Tough Enough. And, um, yeah, it's an interesting little fighting game. Um, what what can I tell you? We don't need to know about the plot. We don't need to know about any of that. There's not a whole lot of information for it. Ten stages in story mode where uh, we play with Kotono, Seo, Vorts, and Zazi. After we pick a character, we must fight the other three in a tournament-style fashion. After fighting, we must fight the six guards, leading to Jado, or Jade. And after fighting, there's an ending sequence, only in the Japanese version, followed by a screen saying to go to hard mode, or congratulations for beating it on hard mode. After beating hard mode, the credits show a clip of the player's battles with the enemy's face. The four character skills evolve over story mode, featuring an RPG-like element, meaning their special moves become slightly larger and more powerful after after each group of opponents is defeated. The original cover art to Dead Dance, Tough Enough, is taken from an issue cover of the UK gaming magazine, Computer and Video Games. Uh, they created the artwork for their preview feature as there was none at the time. Jailco were so impressed with the design they asked to make it the official artwork. It appears on the Japanese and European versions. Uh, Jailco USA decided to use their own box art instead, which is often considered to be one of the worst designs of a video game for all time. You can be seen in the first level of the original arcade of Jailco's game Tengoku. I don't... I mean, it's weird. The hey punk, are you tough enough business? I don't think it's terrible. But uh, props to um, CVG. Theirs looks great. For sure. The game received positive reviews from Super NES Buyer's Guide. Martin Alessi called it one of the best Street Fighter II clones on the Super Nintendo, giving it an 81. Howard Grossman gave it a 78. A review in Superplay ranked it as the second best beat em up on the Super Nintendo, having dethroned the previous second choice, Fatal Fury. Jonathan Davies gave it a 78, calling it a pretty good beat em up with plenty of depth and challenging gameplay. Ultimately, though, it's not as good as Street Fighter II. Which I think we can say about a lot of beat em ups. Nothing is going to top Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo. But this one's pretty good. Uh, there are things that, uh, you know, more characters would be nice, but man, this one's. It's solid. 